outstanding figure in Welsh rugby this season. For Pontypridd, who've never won the Welsh Cup, they actually haven't given up hope of the, title, of the league title either. And in Neil Jenkins, of course, they have the points gatherer supreme. He has dropped a goal and Pontypridd lead by three points to nil as we join Hugh Thuellin Davis and the great JJ Williams. Neath for the first time really on the offensive. Paul Williams puts it behind David Manley. in the Pontypridd defence. Manley, it must be said, at fault. Lee Davis scored a crucial try in the semi-final. He scored again. Poor old David Manley had to pass a late fitness test to be in the game at all. He was almost on the touchline, almost touched. Cormac not expecting. He did well just to drag Davis down, but he wasn't held, so it wasn't a tackle underneath centre. It was quite legal to get up and get to the try line. David Manley. John sweeps it out. Richie Collins almost up to halfway. Jenkins. Lewis. Great hands, Dale McIntosh. And it's back to Steve Lewis. Neil Jenkins, they're all around him. Almost the interception there. Well, it's almost seven to side rugby in the May sunshine. Want to breathe back inside. Brilliant work. Here goes Einan. They're taking the risks up on to breathe. Superb surging attack. No one outside, Steve Lewis. Had to pull it back. Penalty Ponte Priel. What an attack. Thrilling rugby. And all credit to Ponte Priel. One dropped goal. One successful penalty. One failed penalty. So far. Handsome kick. Neil Jenkins. They deserve points for that attack. And Neil Jenkins has supplied those points. Needs five, point of three is nine. Barry Williams, excellent at this aspect of play. He's got it into Thuellin. From deep comes Steve Williams. First time we've really seen the international in full flow. Could come for Richard Jones. Jones for the try line. Second try for Neil. The smile of delight belongs to Richard Jones, the fullback. It was missing out Lee Davis was the important factor here. Give Richard Jones that, that space and he had the strength and the speed and the handoff to go for a great try. Paul John. McIntosh. Interception. Patrick Hogan. Hogan, third try for Neil. Disaster for Pontypridd. They've shown the enterprise. They've been penalised. Pontypridd are making so many mistakes. You can play Macintosh, but most, most likely Collins called for the ball. But the scrum half is so alert, and I had the speed to spin 40 metres. Three tries against three kicks. John Fennell, number 12. Patrick Hogan, they really started the second half full of purpose. Upended Lee Davis in midfield. First man there, Bubia, driven back. Superb tackle, but maintained possession superbly as well. Cormac has to be good, has to be brave. Lost the ball, they're right there. Swarming towards it on the try line. Can't get the ball to ground. They've crossed the line. They can't ground it. It's been held. That was the sign, the signal of Derek Bevan. So, so close to a fourth try. 
This is great play by me, tremendous pressure. Possibly the chip ahead went too high, really. Should have kept it a little bit lower, so he could have bounced for Chris Higgs. But Nita there, number. Higgs goes for the line, and he's turned around. A further score here could really break Montpellier's hearts and really lift Neath. Steve Williams, Steve Williams with Bubia pushing him further forward. Try Neath. Patrick Hogan second. A devastating strike by the scrum half. Steve Williams drives well to stay on his feet and lay this ball back. That was Patrick Hogan who goes in Baruin for this ball. And he gets in, he's so strong this scrum half and he drives through the gap for a good try. McIntosh to control. The time to look, select the option. Richie Collins trying to create an extra man, he's got pace. It's out to Manley, Manley, Manley for the line. Manley's there. No, no try, it's a scrum five. Now who saved Neath? Richie Collins goes for this gap here. And then when the defence of Woodland comes in, he gives Manley the ball. Now this wing has plenty to do, and he stays up on his feet, and he's over the line. But now it's a hard thing to get the ball down. But Steve Williams as well to get underneath him, to stop him grounding that ball. Brilliant defence by the international number eight. But they're still there, Jenkins probing for the gap. Big man to pull down. It's for Paul John, Paul John. This time, it's grounded. This time, it's a try. Put the please first, they're back in the game. And Paul John is the man who got there. Put the please 14, needs 22. Both ready to find a piece to bounce back into it. Jenkins did well to set this up, and Paul John reaches for it. But does he put pressure down? Derek Bevan is well there, you can see it. Yes, it's a try for the scrum half. The minutes are sliding by. They're slipping away from Pontefleet. Crisping corner, safe catch. Turn, set ball, Jenkins. Geraint Lewis weaving his way upfield. Penalty to Pontefleet. Hands by Neath. Difficult decision, Nigel Bazzani. Yes, I think possibly I would go for goal. I would have gone for goal last time. Three points in the back, taking it closer to the Neath score. Taking a 22 19 if this is successful. Would be a fantastic climax then, wasn't it? Jenkins for goal, he struck it well. Over it goes. Jenkins brings Pontefleet up to 19. Neath are on 22. 12 minutes are left of the cup final. Pisani crouching, one on his back, Rowley behind him. Just the one jumper by Pontefleet. No prizes for guessing where this is going. Taken by Rowley. McIntosh driving. Bevan in the way slightly, but now it's out to the punty backs. David Manley. Manley takes them on. Here right, Lewis. Brilliant try, Pontefleet. Sensed in the cup run. Without any question. The most crucial. Jenkins moving the line. I missed pass there. Cormac does well, even though right attack into Manly. He swerves out, but then that pass to Garantley was a superb. And he has the pace to go over for a classic try. And one feels so happy here for young David Manley. The nightmare of the first half mistake. He's redeemed himself. He's repaid the team, and Geraint Lewis on the left has profited. Cormac as well to get this pass in when he's half tackled. But Manley straightens up and then swerves out, brings in the winger, and then flips the ball out to, to Geraint Lewis. That is a fantastic try.
Rowley down, Paul John, Paul John, a little chip ahead. Both sides next season lose their captains. Paul John and Neil Jenkins perhaps the contenders for the role with Pontypridd. Now it's back to John again. Is there one more? The chase for Gareth Lewis. Gareth Lewis first there. He's got another. Superb climax for Pontypridd. Neath 22, Pontypridd 29. Geraint Lewis, the hero, his second try in as many minutes, and the Pontypridd supporters are delirious. Still Lewis is so well there, just ships it through. Chris Higgs is quick, but Geraint Lewis has the pace on him, and it's a great try again. Paul John so quick getting his ball out, ideal kick by Steve Lewis, beautifully bounced, and the winger at the left gets his second try. Geraint Lewis, Chris Hicks had to turn in all fairness, two of the quickest winners in Wales there, and Geraint Lewis wins the race. The place will explode if this goes over, Big gains, no. So there's still a glimmer of hope beneath. Seven points separate the two sides. Just to add to the drama, it's four tries Neath, three tries Pontypridd. So a converted try could still take the cup to the null. Garasowellin sporting the multicolours of the Harlequins next season. Today, he's as black as black could be, Neath to the core. He was desperate to have a trophy to leave behind in the Neath clubhouse. The effort might now have to come in the league, where the Null club are second to Cardiff. He's an emotional man, Nigel Bazzani. There'll be tears at the end, whatever happens in the seconds that remain. What a popular captain he's been. Derek Bevan blows his whistle. The National Stadium explodes with noise. A lovely moment as the two captains congratulate each other. It's been a fantastic comeback by Nigel Bazzani's side. It's been a quite brilliant, exciting final. And at the end, no one will deny Pontypridd. They are worthy winners by 29 points to 22. Pontypridd have joined the elite band. They now become the eighth winners in 25 years of competition. Nigel Bazzani lifts the trophy triumphantly high. It's a fantastic finale for him. The proudest possible moment. A huge highlight at the end of a career for a most popular captain. Pont de Prise are the worthy cup winners for season 1995-96. Point of view.